Hey, this video may be a little different from the other you usually see on this channel. In July, we hosted Ray for his school work alternate experience. Ray is 17 and has never used Unity before, so we guided him to discover the basis till the creation of his first project. That spoiler alert is awesome. And this video we want to share with you his journey and his first experience in the game that field. Hey, I'm Ray and welcome to day number one of my schoolwork alternates period. What this period is, is pretty much a month or many hours of work and I'll be working as a game dev, all thanks to a small studio named Tough Nut to Crack or TNTC. Now TNTC specializes in VR, AR experiences, 3D software and video games. I absolutely love video games, so obviously I wanted to make one of my own. The only problem is that I have no experience in any kind of game engine. Now thankfully, thanks to TNTC, they have a course on Udemy, on Unity. So basically I'll be learning Unity and C Sharp, and hopefully be able to use that knowledge to make my own game by the end of the month. Th thanks to this internship, I will be able to work as pretty much a full-time game dev, and for the rest of this month I will share my experience with you through these vlogs and this video. I really hope you enjoy, and I cannot wait to have you all with me. Hey, so day number two. I've gotten around the basics of C Sharp, and now I'm starting Nutty 2D. Nutty 2D is one of the projects that they offer on their course, which is pretty much a tutorial follow. Now this is really simple to follow as it's split up in many parts, and it takes around two hours to finish. I already know that I'll be taking a couple days, seeing as I'm completely new to Unity. I, uh, so far I haven't had any problems as I've only done the drag and drop options and the spawn game objects. Now, although this was only a couple of, I'd say around 20 minutes, has taken me around a day to get these done. So I can only imagine what the longer parts or the around 30 minute sets of uh, tutorials will take. Now again, I, uh, so far I'd say that I'm having a completely smooth experience as there were only a couple errors I'll, I was able to solve on my own. Uh, tomorrow I'd say I'd continue on this and if I have any large problems, I won't bother making a vlog. Though, I'd say on Monday, when Eric and Matteo come along, the founders of TNTC, I'll definitely have and start actually on the harder parts of this project and definitely require some help. But until then, I'd say that this is going very smoothly. So we're at vlog number three. Today is Monday. I feared that would be Monday and that I'd still be working on Nutty 2D, but here we are. Today, thankfully, Matteo and Eric were in the office and they were able to help me with lots of the bugs, issues, and maybe crashes that I was having. Any of the Unity engine, some problems were mainly with assets or maybe newer stuff that Unity implemented since the course and stuff that it changed. So all of that was able to be, get resolved and uh, thankfully, we are basically at the end where I have to just do the animations, the last touches with the audio, and I will be done with the Nutty 2D game. And then now I have to look forward to the Nutty Gotchi. Now Nutty Gotchi is pretty much one of those virtual pet games, but this time it's in 3D. So I'm super excited to be working on that. And I cannot wait to have you guys come with me for this again, new journey as I travel the land of seeing and be able to see 3D objects in my Unity engine. And I cannot wait to face the problems ahead of me. Fast forward, Ray accomplished the first part of his experience in which with our support, he studied using our course. It took one week and a half. At this point, we were right in the middle of his internship, which unfortunately only lasted for three weeks. Alright, so today was day number one of creating my own project. Really exciting stuff. So, um, I just kind of had to come up with an idea and I was thinking during the weekend, what would be easy enough and not too, you know, overwhelming for me to make. And um, I thought that, uh, I took kind of inspiration from a couple different games that I liked and some that I've heard about and some that some other indie games that I was really, you know, interested by. And so I kind of took little parts here and there of different ones that, just to see what would work. Uh, kind of almost prototyping. Um, but today it was mostly on paper, I got to say. So I kind of took the spaceship from Asteroids, a old arcade game, and that might be the direction we will take it. Well, we as in me and 
might help, but, <laughs> and, um, so I was, I was thinking, you know, about, you know, having a spaceship, it was going to be 2D, nothing 3D, because 3D, I think, would be just a little bit overstepping for me right now, so I, I want to really get the basics of 2D before getting into something more serious like 3D, and, um, so I, I decided to go with the simple spaceship top-down view kind of thing and have enemies come at you, but instead of asteroids this time, it's little red dots. Well, these little red dots will eventually change into maybe actual enemies or something a little bit more uh, simple and doable. Maybe something even without animations, but that can still represent danger in a way. So I was kind of thinking today, and uh, so we can yeah, again, I came up with the this idea and it's really basic but i really hope i can evolve it into something more and a lot more fun and fast paced again one of the factors was that i wanted it to be uh either hectic or fast paced or even both now um the idea also came with having a kind of cone and a radar almost and it would kind of tell you the uh direction that you were going to go and the area that you were going to clear and uh, so the, this kind of cone thing, it was uh, more of like a you jump towards the cone, but obviously you're a spaceship, so it was more like a dash. And uh, so far I got the basic movement systems down to a point where I would go in the direction of the cone. And uh, so far my spaceship is not facing towards that direction, but we'll get there eventually. And um, yeah, so off to tomorrow where I hope to make more progress and eventually uh, also get some more movement systems down too. Alright, uh, so I haven't been able to make these videos or work on the project for a while. This kind of set me back a little bit, but as soon as I was able to get on the project again, um, I right away added some enemy AI, which simply just follows the player. This was actually really simple. And uh, also enemy spawn areas and uh, pooling. Now, pooling is pretty much just a way to reduce uh, stress on your system it's a way of just spawning all sprites or all uh let's say enemies at once so that you can constantly just take them out and put them back in instead of having to constantly spawn new uh new game objects every time you load a wave for example and um again the way that i sort of uh made these uh, spawn points was with the uh, 2d box colliders now the way that that works is I got a random point in the collider and managed to spawn whatever amount I wanted in those colliders. So what I did was had a top, bottom, left and right collider and of course whenever I would put a amount of enemies to spawn they would randomly spawn in any one of those colliders. So I could basically have a wave of 100 enemies come all the way from the right uh, and come towards me. Now uh, the enemy AI again very very simple. And uh, kind of the next, the next, uh, I guess, point is seeing as they don't kill you right now, I'm going to have to add collision and um, really just kind of update the controller and how that works. As another th idea that I want to do is uh, when you hold uh, your attack, so in this case, left click, when you hold it down for a certain amount of time, you'll be able to kill stronger enemies, which I'm going to have to uh, make, but also it will send you farther. So it's kind of like different mechanics. And uh, you got to really use these, you know, special attacks wisely and at the right time because otherwise um, you will lose pretty easily. And I found out that it is actually quite hard to uh, play this game, which I like. And uh, I will challenge anyone at the t when I finish this to beat my high score whenever I add scores in. So, uh, yeah, we'll get back to that in a second. All right, so uh, we are currently within the final days of my uh, internship. And uh, this is the weekend right before that. And um, so we've decided to kind of move away from the whole cone and radar system. And we went for instead a visual kind of feedback on your charge up instead of showing a direction and then just kind of waiting there. Uh, and um, so we did what we did instead was um, we took that off and made the ship spin instead. Now, what this helps do is because when we wanted to make the ship move in that certain direction, we kind of went towards the it splits in a frame. And that really looked it kind of gave it a janky 
uh, not very well made look. So what I decided was, hey, let's just, you know, uh, make it move with the cone. But mo letting it move with the cone was also very awkward in a way. It looked wrong. And so we completely removed the white circle around the ship along with the cone. And we opted for a uh, arrow instead, or in this case, a temporary arrow before I kind of find a way to measure uh, or find a better way to really uh, show that you are charging up and having a more powerful kind of dash in a way. But also we added the trail. Now what the trail does is I think it's really awesome. I gave it just a very simple red and orange gradient, something that you can easily find online as well as a tutorial. And uh, this gradient really gives it kind of like a really rocket feel in a way and it really demonstrates a sort of speed almost as well and uh i think it's coming along great uh the boost in, in general isn't very unique but really it's super simplistic and i think i want to go in more of a pixel uh art kind of direction and so simplistic you kind of have to be simplistic um and really want to make any if you want to make anything pixelated you can either go too detailed because that will take too much time or even if you find assets you have to find ones that really work together well so uh in the next few days when i go through more of the polishing stages instead of the um let's say movement and attack basics and just mechanics um that's what i'll be doing and hopefully i'll find something de decent by then and uh, i'll update you all on how that goes later so all right so second to last day and today i really focused myself on polishing the game and really making the game have a single style so i decided to go for the whole like pixel art spacey theme and uh, what really kind of took off with this idea was you know, it's an indie game and I'm not doing anything 3D and I didn't want my game to look flat. So I thought pixel art would be a great way to avoid having to use any kind of special effects to make it really look enhanced and avoid making it look flat. And uh, I honestly really love the pixel art, you know, kind of uh, theme uh, on any kind of game. And um, I'd say one of my favorite games is probably like dead cells a roguelike and what really inspired this again was one, one of these games and how great they look for being pixel art and so what i did today mainly was find good assets that would fit along with the game and um, on itch there's so many good free assets that really just fit together perfectly and i will credit them all in my itch.io project once that is uploaded and um I truly found these amazing. I made planets, I made space, you know, nebulas and everything, and the backgrounds truly look great. I even had some cool effects to make it look a little more uh, 3D in a way, it just to give it a little bit of depth so that the player could go under kind of clouds and everything, and um, I think it's really turning out great. I am absolutely adoring the style I've made. I've chosen different buttons that would fit with like the asteroids that were in other asset packs and the pixelated style is just truly coming along perfectly and uh, I intend to add a basically blast the game with a bunch of post processing to make sure that it really gives that enhanced glowy truly amazing perfect pr polished look. Now I know I might be <laughs> overhyping this a little bit but I'm really excited and uh the polishing part is so awesome i love seeing the game come together but really seeing the game look as good as you know other indie devs as someone that just started learning unity a couple weeks ago this is a um, truly an amazing experience for me and um though there are some problems because i was not expecting that sprites or in general code would react so differently to <laughs> when you change something so simple um but uh I, i'm kind of getting along and kind of getting the hang of it and uh the polishing part is definitely something that i will look forward to when creating future projects and uh honestly yeah it's just purely fascinating and i really hope you enjoy it as well 
I found uh, I've been putting black holes and I've kind of put it, been putting different styles for each uh, difficulty that you've been that you could choose in the game and uh, today I'm really gonna finish off any other extra maybe modes and stuff that I might want to add uh, before uploading everything tomorrow and uh, I really hope you enjoy it all right so I finished my internship um, my last day was a couple days ago I have completely finished my project and uh, it's also up on HIO so you want to go check it out there that would be awesome um honestly the last day was just purely learning how to use hio we also made a uh, let's say website version so you can play on the website directly so you don't have to actually download the game and um i'd say so far this was an amazing experience i wish it would last longer and uh hopefully in the future i'll be able to work with these guys again and honestly it's just really been a pleasure and uh Again, I, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I, I, I really adored this experience and I definitely want to create more projects and more games. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. As Wes said, thank you so much for watching. We had a really great time with him and we are more than happy to see him satisfied with how the project turned out. If you want to try this project, the link to the HIO page is in the description below. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. Smash the like button and follow us on the other socials. See you next time. Cheers.